I do apologize for the mess in here at the moment, but we use Rita, our VW T6.1 camper van, absolutely load. So you know the score if you've got a camper van and you know, we try and keep it clean, but we will give it a clean again before we go out. But anyway, the point of this video is like, I love gadgets and part of our conversion was to digitize things, not have switches and just actually have convenience all in one place. And this is where the Savvy Van comes into place. The Savvy Van, Savvy Van Company is a company that specializes in things to do with connectivity within camper vans. They probably do a lot more, but this is specifically what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. And the convenience that it allows us. No switches, no nothing, it's all Bluetooth connectivity. It can hook up to your gas tank, it can hook up to your batteries, it can hook up to your, your LED lights and everything like that. So we will just have a very quick look at it today. And I'm really interested, this is the main point, I'm really interested in to see actually what you have also on your van as well. And would you even consider Savvy Van as well? I know a few people do use it. Um, I spoke to the guys down at Birmingham NEC and they were like incredibly like friendly like really really nice guys showing off all their new stuff they got some new um led compatible lights coming out at the moment where you can get like super mood lighting which i'm super interested in so i'm going to keep an eye on their website so savvy van let's turn you around and you can have a look so this here da -da, is the savvy van control panel so i'm just going to turn everything off at the moment so straight away all of this is completely customizable okay you can add, remove things, do do whatever you want on it. Let's just put some lights on at the moment. See how easy that was. So we have two sets of lights. So lights number one, it's just these lights up here and around. Light number two, this is all under counter stuff. All controlled all controlled by the savvy van so we'll just turn the top ones off at the moment what we also have hidden in there is our inverter our inverter is now on which allows us to use the three pin plugs and also Should put some like funky music over that oh there you go in here we've got the three pin plugs we've also got usb and usb c and on it here is a wireless charger as well i know that's nothing actually to do with the savvy van but if we wanted to charge our phones we can just put on the inverter and charge our phones off of there we do have various other usb points throughout the van but yay so we also have our water now our water pump is on and our fridge, now our fridge is on. We also can see how level we are. We just give it a second to just do its thing. And there we go. Left is low, raise by three centimeters. So normally I just, as soon as I park up, I just lob my phone on the floor and actually check how many degrees I'm out. And if I'm within two or three degrees tolerance, then I know I'm gonna be able to sleep okay. So I don't use this a lot, but it gives you a good image of what you need to do so there we go it's like done it raised by three to six centimeters what we also do have on here as well is sorry these gloves what we do also have on here as well is our battery and how many hours it's going to take you can see that it's charging how many hours it's going to take to charge so if i now go back and then click uh in fact, we'll leave the fridge on. 86%, so we can see if we go on the day, and you'll be able to see the draw that it's actually gonna be taken. The thing is, I do have the van actually running at the moment. That's why it's not, not showing its true, um, uh, true usage or true power usage and then remaining days because the van's running and charging everything anyway with the DC to DC charger but if I did turn off my engine that would show you exactly how many days that you've got um, left 
and we do also have solar as well. So that all takes this into account as well. So we do also have the water tank. Now, if you do have more than one water tank, like a waste tank and that, you can add these here and here. So it's super, super easy. So you can go into user settings. You can go into installer settings if you had something new, like I want the gas, the ability to see how much gas I've got left in my container in the back. I'm gonna have that done soon. And then so I'll just add that within the installer settings, search for the Bluetooth device to do with the actual gas canister. You hear that alarm because my wife has just walked past the front of the van because she's taking the dogs out with Sevi. You can completely customize the, the Savvy van to exactly how you want. You can even change the colors on there and everything if you want. But I, I, I like my tech. I really do like my tech. And this was an upgrade at the point of having the conversion done. And I think it was about 900 pounds. It might have been a little bit less for all the parts and everything to be fitted as well. And whatever, if I've paid a premium, I don't think I'm able to, to do this. Like, I, so I'd rather just pay someone, someone a lot smarter than me, to do it all in the van so that once I get the van, like we have got Rita now, it's all done, it's all good to go. So you could say, oh, you're, you're a bit naive of doing that and getting people to do it, you can do it yourself. No, I can't. I know my limitations and this is way beyond my limitations. It's beautifully recessed into the back of the um, this panel. It still does have a plastic screen over it so keep one over it because I'm a little bit of a clean freak. It's easier to wipe and I won't want to scratch the glass, not that you can really scratch it anyway. But yeah, I just absolutely love it. So, and that's just the end of the video to show you about Savvy Van. I'm generally interested in what you have in your van. If you have something like this, or something completely different, or something even smarter, uh, please let me know. And if you use Savvy Van, give this video a thumbs up. Just tag them down below, because they're genuinely really, really good guys. Keep an eye on their website for any upcoming new features and i want to see about that mood lighting definitely interested in that catherine probably won't be seb probably will be dogs won't be bothered it's something i like so